Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at KN Pilates. Welcome to another Pilates session. I'm thrilled to see you here, so let's begin. Starting in supine, have your feet hip width in parallel, your knees hip width, your shoulders relaxed, your neck long. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out to gently imprint. Starting with pelvic tilts as always. See how your lower back is feeling today, your lumbar spine. Breathe out to imprint, breathe in to arch away. Yeah. We will um, observe you with hip connection here. Notice how that changes as you tilt the pelvis. Yeah. One more of these. Good. Then find your neutral spine and pelvis. Hip flexors are quite, quite relaxed. We come into tabletop. Breathe in on the first leg. Draw the navel in. Breathe out on the second leg. And then we go into knee drops. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out to lower, draw the navel in a little bit more. And then we turn and release the tension a bit. Yeah, so centering a bit more on the effort, a little less as we come back. Breathe out to lower, breathe into your ribs to return, using your lateral breath. Good, and the whole idea here is to keep the pelvis still. Yeah, so we only go as far as we can without the body rolling with the leg. Yeah, breathe out to lower and into return. So I would always suggest to have the hands at the center so you can notice your hip connection, you notice that the pelvis is staying still, you notice that you're centering a bit more on the effort and a bit less as you return. So just for that feedback it's quite nice. But of course if you prefer you can just have your arms by your sides. Yeah. Two more of these, as always, ideally even out right and left. And then place one foot down and then the other. We'll go into spine curl. So here I would suggest to take the cushion away from under the head. Yeah. And again, either have your hands on your hip connection or by your sides. Have the feet a bit closer towards your hips, but still hip width. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, imprint, push the feet down, send the knees forwards over the toes. Find your neutral hip connection here. So not overarching, but not staying too low down. Breathe into your ribs. And then breathe out to gently roll back down, gently imprint and release. Yeah, breathe in and out. Push the feet down, send the knees forwards. Breathe in here. And breathe out to roll down. Yeah. And ideally, point the nose up to the ceiling. Yeah, so the next day is in neutral. And we just come up onto the shoulder blades, not onto the shoulders themselves. Yeah. Good. One more of these. On this one here, we stay up in neutral. And then we have a few options for progressions. Yes, yeah, see how this feels. So you either push one foot down to lift the other heel up. So you lift one heel, but we're very, very much focusing on what's staying stable. So the pelvis stays still. That foot pushes down to support the moving one. Yeah. And then making sure that knee doesn't drop out to the side. Very common for that knee to splay out. The ribs are in. There's always so much to remember, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, and if in doubt, breathe, as always. For a breathing pattern, you would breathe out to lift and in to lower. If that feels quite good, we can then go into lifting the whole foot away. So you just peel the foot off. Yeah, but still focusing on the supporting side. Breathe out, draw the navel in. Always make sure it's not everything else pushing out to help. It's very common. Yeah. Breathe out to lift, in to lower. And then, of course, if this feels fine, then make this a bit bigger. Make sure to find the same footprint. 
Yeah. So we just have to use our proprioception there. And it's very common that we lean into our stronger side. Very often we just walk towards our stronger side and then end up quite bent to one side at the end of it. So always thinking in line with the hip bones. Good. And then breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to roll down. And then maybe extend arms and legs. So you'll either feel you want to extend the legs or you might feel you want to hug the knees in for a lower back stretch. So do whatever feels good for you. Good. And place the feet back onto the floor one at a time. Good. From here we come into the hundred. So again, coming into tabletop. And remembering, maybe you want to have your cushion back for following exercises. So we don't really need it for the hundred, but for what's to follow. So coming into tabletop, into curl up, chin to chest, ribs to hips, navel to spine. Yeah. Drawing the navel in just as much as you need to. Um, just remember here you have options. Yeah? If that's too much for your neck, you can support the head with one arm. Just swap that over at some point if you need to. Yeah? So count for yourself and then we'll come into a lower back stretch once we're done. Breathe in for a few and out for a few. Leave it there. So let's make sure you finish what you started and then join me in the lower back stretch. And you might also want to relax the head from side to side. Yeah, if there's any tension there. Good. Place one foot down and then the other. We'll go into leg slides and again we'll just go through a few layers here. So here I would suggest to either have one hand underneath your lower back for feedback yeah, or half the arms by your sides. The reason why I would suggest this, if this is a, quite a new exercise for you, it's just we have a bit of feedback about making sure not to push the back down, not to let the back arch away, so that pressure um, the pressure on the hand under the back stays the same and I can again just sort of monitor that I'm doing the navel in on the effort rather than letting the belly push out. Yeah. So breathe in to slide away, breathe out, tiny lift, breathe in and out. Alternating legs. One, two, three and four. Breathe in and out and in. And out. So if you feel the spine is staying still, you're using your centering, you're using your lateral breath, then of course you can half your arms by your sides. And we'll need the arms in a moment for the next layer of this. So you either continue with the legs or you can add the opposite arm. Yeah, so breathe in, keep the ribs in, remember that connection. Lower. And return. Yeah, breathe in, and out, and in, and out, breathe in, and out, and in, good, one more, and again, you can continue with these, or you can add a curl up, yeah, so you breathe in, and out, then push the back down, and then here you keep the ribs in to return. Yeah, so the spine, the lower back stays quite still. And with any of these, you can always go back to a previous version. Yeah, so just the legs, opposite arm to leg, 
or this one here with the added curl up. Breathe in and out and in. Pushing through the heel so you create some resistance there. Yeah. So it's very controlled. You get to that extension on the exhalation. Yeah. So as you know, the speed of your movement depends on your breath. Yeah, we want to move through the whole breath. Yeah. So I breathe in. Then get there, breathe out. Then get there, breathe in. Then get there, breathe out. Then we're here. Yeah, so see if you can sink your breath and your movement. And they're very likely to be different from mine. Yeah, so that's one thing in Pilates that we're still working with our own breath, our own range of movement. Yeah. Good. Fabulous. We will go into windows. So you reach the arms up, relax the shoulders down. Again, half your spine in neutral. Draw the elbows down to the floor, but keep the ribs in. Yeah. So if you find you can't quite get the elbows to the floor without poking the ribs out, yeah, then just hover above the floor instead. Good. Then rotate, still keeping the ribs in, just as far as your shoulders are happy. Reach the arms up, let the shoulders come up to the ears, and then return. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. Breathe in, out, in, and out. Yeah, so be very much aware of your range of movement in your shoulders. It also might be different from one side to the other, very common. Don't force the arms onto the floor. If that's not happening, that's fine. Then you might just want to do these a little bit more often, just to gently and over time um, create a bit more range of movement in your shoulders. Yeah. Main focus, as always, your neutral with hip connection and your lateral breath. Yeah. Beautiful. Relax the arms down. We're just going to finish in single leg stretch. Few of those. Yeah, come into tabletop. Into curl up. Hold on to one leg. Extend the other one away. Shoulders are relaxed down. Hands are just gently resting on your shins. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to swap. One. Two. Ten of these. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower the head down. Again, if there's any tension, release the head from side to side. Place one foot down and then the other. Place your right foot onto your left thigh. Draw the right, uh, either stay here, that's already quite a strong stretch. Yeah, or otherwise, draw the left leg in and then relax here. And then here we want to go into our belly breathing. Breathe in, let the belly button float up. And breathe out, let the belly button drop. Close your eyes if you want to. Yeah, just focus on your belly breathing. And notice the light stretch you get here um, for your outer thighs and glutes. Good. Then release the legs to swap over. And again, either stay here if that's already quite strong or draw the legs in. Notice that you're not looking behind you, so your neck is staying long, maybe proper a few more cushions under your head if you find that's not quite happening. Yeah. And if you're holding on to your right leg, you draw that towards your right shoulder. Very often the knee sort of ends up towards the belly button. We try to keep that alignment here. Breathing into your belly. And release. The hips are quite relaxed, the abs are relaxed, the, the back muscles are released, the shoulders are relaxed. Good. Relax the legs down. Another nice long stretch. Breathe in. And out. 
and we're done.